Well, we have found the male cheetah, isn't this incredible? Very, very lucky, not one of the big cats we get to see often. We started looking for leopard, but we found both the male cheetah on Cheetah Plains, living up to its namesake on this sunrise safari. Very, very exciting. Now these two males have a massive home range of about 100,000 acres and they're constantly marching up and down in search for female company. Now of course cheetah have a very, very interesting uh, mating ritual, mating performance. Uh, it's very, very unusual in comp compared to the rest of the big cats is in the fact it's the only big cat that needs a male dominant uh, numbers hierarchy uh, to have successful mating. Let's just get a bit closer. Now there are some impala. I don't know if they've spotted the cheetah yet. Oh my goodness, it's all happening here at Cheetah Plains. Ephraim's just found a leopard right next to us as well. We're going to stick with the cheetah. Uh, there's a lot of people trying to get into here before uh, the, the cheetah cross the boundary because they are very highly mobile. So, good news. It seems like every time I come to Cheetah Plains with Dave, uh, our luck is on. Last time we had, we had a quarantine killer scrub here and the cheetah. Now we've got the cheetah and I'm not sure which leopard is just down the road. Well, it's a good way to start in the morning. Morning, Michael. Morning, everyone. So what we'll probably do is we, we, got, we don't have a chance to spend too much time here. As I said, there's a lot of people trying to get to see these incredible cheetah before they disappear uh, to the south. So we'll spend a few more minutes, then we'll go across to where Ephraim is. And uh, if there's a chance a little bit later, then we'll come back to the cheetah once everyone has had uh, a chance. So have a quick look, get some nice screenshots. Oh, here we go, roll over. Now, they were looking quite hungry. Let's see, I'm going to have a look over my shoulder if those impala have spotted them. Difficult to see. Dark Princess is wondering what are the major differences between a cheetah and a leopard. Now if we zoom in on this wonderful cheetah next to us here and have a look at its eyes. Here we go, you can see there's that black, almost tear, tear stripe that runs below a cheetah's eyes. So a cheetah has a dark area around its eyes. The reason for that is that it is a crepuscular or daytime hunter. Well, crepuscular means most active at dusk and dawn, but they will also hunt during the day. So also you will see they have distinct spots rather than rosettes. So uh, they are far more slightly built. They are taller than leopard, but they are much, much sort of skinnier and they have a very different body structure, a very supple spine. They've got semi-retractable claws and a very big flat tail. Now this, they are so finely designed for speed that they have given up almost all their strength, uh, which makes them quite vulnerable. Now leopards, there we go. Finally, you've spotted the impala I've been talking about. Let me just reposition. Now, I saw those impala before the cheetah, but have the cheetah, impala seen the cheetah? That is the question. There are the impala. They look oblivious to the presence of death. And of course, now, this one has definitely seen them. Now, a cheetah is able to get that incredible speed, uh, around a, just over 100 kilometers an hour. They're able to keep it up for 
mm, up to sort of three, four hundred meters uh, if the terrain is, is, is good. And they are hungry. Although this is almost a little bit too open. The impala will have far too of a head start. Hello, Elana, who's 13 years old. Elana is wondering why we don't see so many cheetah on the drives. Well, Elana, the cheetah are in very, very, they live, oh, sorry, this game drive channel is very noisy. Sorry, Elana, I turned it off. Uh, so, cheetah in this part of the world they are around but they live in very big home ranges now that's because they're always looking for ladies and the males will constantly search 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 a female cheetah will often have to turn down up to three sets of male cheetah before she will mate and she actually needs those interactions with different males to to stimulate ovulation so it is a very very interesting and unusual uh, way of mating. It's the only big cat where you need to have more males than females. Other than that, it's always more females than males. And with one group of males having multiple females. There we go. It's going to be the Impala still relatively oblivious. I'm just going to try and pull this aerial down quickly. There we go. it in there for now. now as I said it's a little bit too open for them to make a play from here as I just zoom in as that one impala caught become wise nah okay now, I'm fascinated. They're watching. Now, this is a, as I said, it's no, not ideal cheetah hunting, hunting area. They'd prefer to have a little bit more cover. But this is absolutely stunning. Beautiful early morning light. Now, the largest meta population of cheetah in Africa, now, when I refer to a meta population, it's the population with the most genetic diversity, is in fact the Greater Kruger National Park, not the Maasai Mara or Botswana or Namibia that is often thought. And uh, with cheetah, there is so little genetic variation between the individuals, even from here to Kenya. You can actually take a skin graft from any cheetah in Africa and put it on the other cheetah, and uh, it, the, it will take. Now, uh, with genetic research, you can see the cheetah got to a genetic bottleneck about 10,000 years ago, and there were less than 100 left in the whole of Africa. And they have come back since then, but cheetah are one of those animals that will probably be go extinct in the next 10, or not, even less than that, two to 5,000 years, probably just one of those failed arms of the evolutionary tree. Well, that doesn't look like you're, you're very interested in catching impala, mister.